This presentation is on the Highway Runoff Database, HRDB. The Highway Runoff Database is a data warehouse and preprocessor for the stochastic empirical loading and dilution model, seldom. The Highway Runoff Database was developed by the U.S. Geological Survey in cooperation with the Federal Highway Administration, Office of Project Development and Environmental Review. This presentation has 15 slides and will take about 10 minutes. The Highway Runoff Database provides representative statistics for quantifying runoff flows, concentrations, and loads. This is a schematic diagram showing the components of the stochastic mass balance analysis used by Seldom to assess potential effects of runoff on receding waters. The Highway Runoff Database can be used to calculate runoff coefficient statistics for the highway site from precipitation and flow data. It can also provide highway runoff concentration statistics, concentration data, and paired data. Currently, version 1.0.0a has 10 data sets, 118 sites, 4,216 storms, and 55,311 EMC values. It contains the Federal Highway data set and nine other data sets. However, it should be noted that the Washington State DOT has issued a data retraction letter for some of their data to the International BMP database team. If you have data sets, please let me know so I can compile them for the next update. Data in version 1.0.0a of the Highway Runoff Database span the period from 1975 through 2010. The Federal Highway Administration dataset was collected during the period from the mid-1970s to the mid-1980s. Three datasets were collected during the mid to late 1990s. Another three datasets represent data collected during the early 2000s, and the Massachusetts dataset was collected in the late 2000s to 2010. The Highway Runoff Database has 194 different water quality constituents. Sample counts may indicate the importance of each constituent. The top 15 constituents, excluding sodium, calcium, and chloride, are total suspended solids, total copper, total lead, total organic carbon, total cadmium, total phosphorus, total caldol nitrogen, total chromium, total hardness, pH, total nickel, Dissolved zinc, dissolved copper, total nitrate, and dissolved organic carbon, which all have more than a thousand samples. The suspended sediment concentration at 451 samples is shown because the USGS has found total suspended solids, TSS, to be fundamentally unreliable for water quality analysis. More recently, a number of highway and urban runoff studies have come to the same conclusion about TSS. The Highway Runoff Database has a lot of data, but more is needed. The 1990 Federal Highway Dataset, which is shown by the squares on the map, is geographically extensive, but sources and methods have changed. Massachusetts and California have extensive high-quality datasets. Washington DOT has an extensive dataset, which is shown by the orange circles because the DOT has issued a data retraction letter for some data collected during that time period. The Highway Runoff Database can be used to obtain water quality pairs, water quality statistics, and other data. It is a simple graphical user interface. Users can get data or statistics they need by clicking through a few buttons on a few forms. This screenshot shows the main menu. It has five buttons to get data or statistics and one button to exit the database. These are the first set of forms used to obtain data or statistics. The colored arrows represent different flow paths for the selections on the main menu. The first step for every selection is to select the storm types. If we are pulling precipitation and runoff data, we go to the Select Study form after we select the storm types. If we want water quality values, we will go through the water quality selection form shown on the top or the water quality pair form shown on the bottom. In every case, we must select the desired study or studies on the dataset form to proceed. Once you select the study or studies of interest, you can select data from the site or sites of interest. Once you complete the site selection, the menu will take you to the appropriate form based on your main menu selection. You can export runoff coefficient data, tab delimited event mean concentration data, event mean concentration data in a detection limit program format, or paired event mean concentration data. If you are calculating random statistics following the dark blue path, it will bring up the form for selecting the plotting positions, and then it will bring up the form with statistics that you need to run seldom. 
The mean, standard deviation, and skew calculated by the Highway Runoff Database are used within Seldom to calculate a population of highway runoff event mean concentrations. If we have a mean, standard deviation, and skew, then a random frequency factor can be used to calculate any EMC value for a normal, log normal, Pearson Type 3, or log Pearson Type 3 distribution. This relation is important because one way to generate random numbers in a Monte Carlo model is to use the skew value to generate the random k values and then use the input average and standard deviation to generate individual event mean concentration values. In some cases, one or more values may be identified as being below one or more detection limits. The Highway Runoff Database does detection limit statistics for you. This graph shows the hypothetical concentration on a logarithmic scale on the vertical axis and the normal variate on the horizontal axis. The Highway Runoff Database uses the regression on order statistics method to generate the yellow line from the measured values which are the black dots. In this method, non-detects below each detection limit are evenly spaced probabilistically along the line. Then, the statistics are calculated with the measured and estimated values. The statistics calculated by the Highway Runoff Database can be used with seldom to simulate a long-term population of highway runoff values. This graph shows total phosphorus concentrations in highway runoff from 18 storms sampled over a two-year period in Massachusetts as the larger yellow circles. The vertical axis shows total phosphorus concentrations on a logarithmic scale. The horizontal axis is a probability axis showing the percentage of storms with event mean concentrations that equal or exceed a given value. The 1,648 simulated values are shown as the smaller light gray circles. The measured values range from about 0.009 to 0.35 milligrams per liter. The simulated values, which represent a 29-year period, range from about 0.003 to 1 mg per liter. The measured data have a mean of minus 1.05, a standard deviation of 0.423, and a skew of minus 0.7 in log space. The model data are generated by using these statistics. This graph shows how we can compare data from the Highway Runoff Database and results of seldom simulations to water quality criteria. In this case, a commonly used discharge criteria of 0.5 mg per liter is being compared to the measured and simulated data. None of the 18 samples that were collected exceed this discharge criteria. The long-term simulation indicates that event mean concentrations may exceed the criteria in about 2% of storms, which represents about one storm per year. We also can use the Highway Runoff Database to get paired data to develop dependent water quality relations. We would use these relations to predict one variable from another to fill gaps in the data set. For example, we can use the relation shown on this graph to model suspended sediment concentration, SSC, from total suspended solid concentrations, TSS, at sites where we do not have SSC values. This graph shows the dependent relation between TSS and SSC. SSC is on the vertical axis and TSS is on the horizontal axis. The white line is the one-to-one -one line. The yellow circles are the data. We can see that most of the SSC values fall above the one-to-one -one line. The yellow line is the log-log regression line between TSS and SSC. In Seldom, we can model TSS as a random variable, then use this dependent relation to estimate an initial average SSC for each TSS value. Then, we use the regression residuals, which are defined by the scatter of data above and below the line, to recreate the scatter in SSC from the TSS estimate. The gray circles are the SSC values generated by Seldom from the Federal Highway TSS values. This has been a brief overview of the Highway Runoff Database and how it may be used with Seldom. The original Highway Runoff Database was published in the Federal Highway Report, FHWA HEP 09004. Version 1.0.0A of the Highway Runoff Database was published as part of USGS Scientific Investigation Report 2009 dash 5269. The Seldom website has links to these reports and the software. You can find it if you Google Seldom and Highway. Thank you for watching this presentation.